I'm Rachel Hadidzas with EXP Realty, and today I'm joined by my friend and EXP colleague, Haley Jones, to tell us a little bit about her experience working and living in Seymour, Tennessee. Welcome, Haley. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm so excited. I wore my Seymourian t-shirt for everyone for this, so I'm pumped. It's, so it's going to awesome. be great. <laughs> thank you so much, Haley. So let's, yeah. get it, let's get right into it. Let's just talk about location. You know, okay. how many people live in Seymour? Could you tell us about how far it is from Knoxville and if there's anything like special about its location? Yes. Okay. So I had to uh, Google this because I wasn't sure how many people actually live in Seymour. But according to the 2010 census, that's like, I guess, the most recent number we have, it, they're saying about 10,000. I think probably now more closer to 15,000 because it is growing. But location wise, I always tell people we are about 20 minutes from Knoxville, downtown Knoxville, and 20 minutes to Sevierville, Pigeon Forge area. So what's really cool about that location is you can be downtown for a show. You can be on Gay Street. You can be hanging out at all those restaurants within 20 minutes, but you can also be to Dollywood and close to Gatlinburg and doing, you know, uh, outlet shopping. So it's kind of a really neat location because it itself is more rural, but also, and you can do all that avoiding the interstate. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that is awesome. And I love how it's like halfway in between. And I feel mm -hmm. like it's still kind of like a hidden secret in Tennessee. Yes. So I guess For we're getting sure. the word out now, but <laughs> everyone, everyone move here. Maybe they'll bring us a target. I'm just kidding. Yes, we don't bring, have a target. Bring Seymour a target. Uh, in the Trader Joe's, right? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. So gosh. let's talk about what Seymour is known for. Things to do and see in the area. Is there anything funny about Seymour? Seymour, I feel like it's not really known for anything. I mean, okay, just so we know, I grew up in Knoxville, okay? <laughs> I never heard of Seymour until I moved here about five years ago. So I feel like it's a it is definitely a secret even locally. And it's actually a pass through, like I said, to get from Knoxville to like locals will use Chapman Highway, which is our main thoroughfare through. So many people pass through Seymour without even knowing that they came through Seymour. I think in terms of like what it offers is if you are consistently wanting to see the mountains every day, you can do that in Seymour. And if you're wanting a lot of land, you can do that in Seymour at not a crazy price. Like if you're going to go to West Knoxville, you're going to pay a lot more for land. But if you're going to be in Seymour, you're going to pay a lot less for land. I think, you know, also too, it's a, it's kind of a landing ground for a lot of commuters. So I would say that, you know, that's what people kind of consider it for. Definitely a place where people think of like building, you know, kind of more custom out of neighborhood homes. Like we have neighborhoods, but they're not they are more one of a kind neighborhoods, if you will. So got it. So not really much HOAs. Yeah. No, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, you know, even in my house, like, so I live in an old farmhouse. We were on two acres and like my husband would not be accepted in an HOA. Like he would be kicked out. Right. So um, not that all of <laughs> Seymour is like that. Like we have two or three new construction neighborhoods that have HOAs, but even those, I mean, yeah, it's not a, like, these are the rules, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's not what this is. So if that's what you'd be looking for, this is probably not the place for you. Yes. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So no HOAs, which a lot of people that are coming to Tennessee don't like the HOA. So I think right. this would be a place that they should consider, but I know that you touched on um, that there's not much to do in the area. How about employment? Are there any big companies in Seymour or are residents commuting to work in a nearby city? Yeah. So most residents are commuting to either Knoxville, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg to work. We don't have really big industry in Seymour. We have a lot of like smaller type, like there's a food city for, for a grocery store and gas stations and like a Domino's pizza, but there's not really big industry here. I would say that you know, again, most people are either commuting into Knoxville or they're going to Sevierville, Pigeon Forge areas. So in some Blount County, you know, we have, so Seymour is three counties together and Blount County, you know, houses a ton of industries such as Denso, such as, um, what's the coffee place? Oh yeah. Mount Green Valley Mountain. Yeah. Green Mountain <laughs> Coffee or whatever. Like 
you know what I mean? And then we have obscure industry also in Blount County that does like makes the little air conditioning things like that go in a Honda. Isn't that weird? Like that's all they do. So we have a bunch of industry like that. So people also work there, you know, I have some clients like that commute to the airport because they work at McGee Tyson. So, um, but nothing really in Seymour necessarily. That's a big employer. All right. Well, at least they're still in the area and that's great. Yeah. So yeah. let's talk about, let's switch gears. Let's talk about the housing market. So what would be the average price of a, just like a 2000 square foot, three bedroom, two bath, and as well as the average rental price in Knoxville, average sale price, 388 and Seymour average sale price, 321, 321,000. So that's a pretty big discrepancy. Now, if we look at median prices, they're a bit closer. So median price point in Knoxville is 319,000. Medium price point in Seymour is 307. For context, that me when I say medium price, that would be your typical three bed, two bath. It doesn't include a lot of land. That's when you're gonna see a lot of people would say that in Seymour, there's a lot of money, like a lot of money, money, money. And actually, a lot of houses you see are brick construction, custom built, mountain views, lots of land. So we do have higher price points, but we we also have like a ton of older 1970s ranch homes, just like thrown around. As far as rental prices, you know, for a just townhouse, you're probably going to be looking about $1,100. That's like a three bedroom, two bath versus in Knoxville, you're going to be looking at probably twice that. So especially depending on where you are in Knoxville. I have actually friends who, when they first came to Knoxville, they lived in Seymour because it was cheaper from a rental perspective. You know, when you start getting into West Knox, you're looking at some really high rental property prices. So yeah. Yes. It can get really high. And I know since it is a rural area, let's talk about the internet. If a lot of people may be moving to the area to, to work remotely, you know, do you have broadband and what's the cell service like? Okay. Cell service is fine. Totally fine. You be worried about cell service when you get out to the lake areas like Dandridge, you know, more further, further out. But even if you go to the most rural part of Seymour, you're still going to be fine cell service because that's kind of the nice thing about where it is because it's located between places, because even like the next door neighbor to Seymour, for example, somewhere that's somewhere that's really rural, where it's Valley, like you're not going to have cell service and even parts of Townsend, you might lose cell service, but Seymour is going to be consistent with cell service. As far as internet goes, it really depends on your location. So for example, where my house is, I live on the Knox County, Blount County, Sevier County line. I'm technically in Blount County. If I walk across the street, Literally, I will be in Knox County. And if I go the other way, I'll be in Sevier County. Okay, so that's relevant because depending on where you are, nobody wants to service that area. So I got internet for the first time this year. Like I was working off of a hotspot because we had satellite, but satellite, like if the wind blows, it doesn't work. So that being said, it really just depends location wise. And I would say I would advise anyone wherever you're looking to get specific, ask the neighbors about what kind of internet they have, because actually the people next door to me, like a hundred, well, a couple hundred yards, they had no problem getting direct or charter internet. We spent like years requesting it. But the good thing about Seymour is everybody knows somebody. So the way we actually got internet is because a guy that owns a bunch of property, we were like, who do we talk to about getting internet? And he was like, go to go talk to Bob Jones, the third on the third Thursday of the second month and you'll get internet and it works. So <laughs> it works. So. Well, I'm glad that you knew. Again. I just say, about- tell people like, just really do your research and make sure like ask your neighbors what they have. We also have that, um, the FCC.gov where we can type in any property address and it's supposed to bring up the cable providers, but definitely, I would be careful like you with said, that. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead and double check with the neighbors. Cause those lists are not always updated constantly. Right. And I would be careful too, with, if you're, if you're wanting to work from home, I think you definitely can do it from Seymour. I just think be very vigilant about, you know, what kind of internet you need. Expensive. Yeah. yeah. It's expensive and it's inconsistent. Make sure you do your research before you kind of get there and you're like, Oh, can't get internet. So yeah. And how about hospitals? Are they, are there any close by? We have UT medical center. Downtown Knoxville is probably the closest and best option. That's about 20 minutes depending. And then we have Blunt Memorial, which is Maryville. That's also about 20, 25 minutes. And then in Pigeon Forge, you have some options, but there is no, like, you know, we have an urgent care, like a UT urgent care one-off, but there's no hospital here in Seymour. 
that makes sense with it only be f- being 15,000 people, but at right. least you have one like either direction that you yes. go, right? Like what's your favorite thing about Seymour and why might somebody want to move there? I love Seymour. Well, for a couple of reasons. So we, you know, if you're looking to be having like outside opportunities and being outside, Seymour is a really nice place for that because you're always going to see the mountains. I know I mentioned that earlier, but one of my favorite parks is here in Seymour. And it's literally just a mile loop around a local church. That entire loop are mountain views. And so Seymour kind of has that charm to it. It's smaller. And also what I love, love about it is, you know, we have friends in West Knox. We have friends in Sevier County. We used to have a little place on the lake. And because of where we are, we don't have to drive through Knoxville to get to that place on the lake. We're 20 minutes away. So I think in terms of location, if you are not in need of a Costco every day or, you know, things like that, it's a really great place because you can access downtown Knoxville. We spend a lot of time downtown and we're actually much closer to downtown than a lot of our friends that are in West Knox that it takes 45 minutes. It's 20 minutes for us. So I really, really like that about the location is that it's super, super accessible to a lot of things. And even to the airport, we're 20 minutes. 20 minutes from the airport. You might've freaked some people out, some Costco fans out there. Let's just reassure them. It's, <laughs> it's probably realistically only like, what, like 40 minutes? Yeah, so probably yeah, 40. Now on a Friday afternoon, no, it's going to take you longer, but 40, 30, 45 minutes, you know, I can be to the, I can be to like West Knox, West Hills, that area within 30 minutes. Costco is like West Knoxville. Okay. So that's more <laughs> like 40 minutes, but we do have Sam's, you know, I have a Sam's within 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, it's funny because some people don't care about Costco, but then I will, you know, I work with some people and like, you got to have the Costco, which I have a Costco membership. I use it. So, um, I definitely think too, just in general, when thinking about Knoxville or the Knox area and Seymour specifically, like you're going to have to drive. So if you are wanting, you know, public transit, like we have public transit, which Seymour does not, but you know, the Knoxville area does, but you're going to need to drive. So I think that's just something to keep in mind. You know, I'll have some buyers from New York and they're like, well, we, well, we need a car. Yes. You're going to need a car. Definitely pretty much anywhere in Tennessee. I think you're going to need a car. Yeah. You know what, what are y'all waiting for? Go on over to Haley's channel, subscribe yes. to her channel, binge watch Do all it. of her videos. <laughs> And go ahead and move to the Knoxville area. Please like and subscribe with the bell as usual so that you'll be the first to know when I post another video because we got so much more to tell you about life and real estate in Tennessee. So see you at the next video. Thanks, Haley. Thank you.